while neutral during the early stages of the Second World War, Argentina experienced significant pressure from the Western Allies to join the war. As part of this pressure, the United States enacted embargoes and restrictions on the supply of weapons and other military equipment and supplies to the Argentine government. In major part, as a reaction to these restrictions, it was in 1942 that Lieutenant Colonel Alfredo Baizi undertook the designing of a domestic armored fighting vehicle for the Argentine military in lieu of foreign imports. The result of this effort was the Nahuel DL-43, produced in the year 1943. The name Nahuel meaning tiger in the Mapundungan language. Many of the design elements present in the American M3 Lee and M4 Sherman were represented in the final design of this domestic Argentine vehicle. Lieutenant Colonel Baizi replicated the vertical volute springs, road wheels, return rollers, drive sprockets, and idlers in the same arrangement as the American designs, but the chassis itself was of native origin. Unlike the M4 Sherman and M3 Lee, the Nahuel DL-43 sides are angled, and at the front are two prominent headlights. The armored hull consisted of welded plates, with a maximum thickness on the front glacis of 3.15 inches, or 80 millimeters. While similar to the Sherman, the Nahuel DL-43 utilized a 75mm main gun as its primary armament, mounted in a cast turret, the chosen Krupp 1909 field gun was not viable for much else but infantry support, lacking the armor-piercing capabilities required for tank combat. Secondary armament consisted of one Alon 7.62mm machine gun and three light Madsen machine guns. A crew of five with commander, driver, machine gunner, gunner, and loader operated this 35-ton beast. The tank was powered by a 500-horsepower Lorraine Dietrich water-cooled gasoline engine with W12 configuration of domestic manufacture. This granted the Nahuel DL-43 a max speed of 25 miles per hour and a range of 155 miles with 14.3 horsepower per metric ton. Unfortunately for the DL-43 and Lt. Col. Baizi, after the 1942 mock-up was approved and production began at Arsenal Esteban de Luca in Buenos Aires, only 12 were completed before manufacturing ceased. It is unsurprising that the production of the Nahuel DL-43 would experience issues and come to a swift end in 1943, as that was the year that the Argentine coup d'etat ousted the government of Ramon Castillo, who had seized power in June of 1942. This led to a quick end of the pro-Axis regime and a turnaround of Argentine foreign policy positions, and in the following year Argentina would declare war on Germany. For this, they would be granted access to Western armaments once again, and the DL-43 was fast phased out in favor of surplus British origin M4 Shermans. Argentina's own Tiger tank may not have actually seen combat or gone down in history with quite the legendary status that Germany's own Tiger tank did but it is an interesting chapter in the history of armored warfare nonetheless.